And he goes Marth, and we go Dreamland, which is uh, not the best. It's not a very good Fox level, so I mean, they counter 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 as fast like Tree, as in uh, he's Fox. Uh, it's not a bad Falco level, and, but it's a very strong Peach level with how wide the ceilings are and uh, how wide the sides are, and not to mention recovery. So we're pretty much starting off with some consistent action. It's about split. Uh, Dope and Fast Like Tree have a, a slight lead going into the beginning of the match. And uh, I'm going to put Scamp on for the second part of our commentaries and come in. He was helping out with some commentary before. I think he did a good job. And plus his voice is a lot fresher from the last two days than uh, yours truly. Uh, well, it's good to be here again. And, uh, so far, uh, these guys are fighting for right to play Ken and Isaiah, who have been pretty uh, pretty flawless so far in the bracket. They've actually beat both these teams before in the bracket. Taj and, uh, Taj and Ford in the winner's semifinals, and Dope and Fast Like Tree in the winner's finals. Yeah, but it's something about fighting games. When you fight someone for a second time, somehow you always do better. Or if you fight someone you beat early and they come back and play, play again, you do somewhat worse. It's one of those unexplainable things. Yeah, I mean, you obviously get experience playing with anyone. That's why you notice some uh, some play groups that play with each other all the time. They're so close that uh, how they do versus each other is really irrelevant to characters, or it just comes down to how they know each other's play style. It's a nice combo by uh, Taj. If Dope hadn't come to uh, help Fast Like Tree, he probably would have got killed. Ooh, that was a nice spike by Dope. And it pretty much gives him a slight stock lead at this point. Ooh, that was a nice team combo there. Um, Ford just back through and Taj, as soon as he popped over and hit him with the Ford smash. This is a very difficult match for Fox and Falco. They have two characters that can punish them relentlessly. Uh, Peach with the down smash can hit him two or three times for 30 plus percent. Whereas Marth can grab either one of them, throw him up, and do a sword combo. So, let's see how they can avoid that. And get their good moves in while avoiding the yeah. down smash and the throws. And the thing about these characters is uh, Peach and Marth are primarily horizontal, so if Marth usually hits you horizontal, a lot of times hits you up into the Peach or each other on the other side. That was a nice spike by Dope, though. And uh, pretty much changed, changed the tide. Ooh, that was a nice back air. And it looks like... Um, yeah, we're all, we're all pretty much even. It's one stock each. The next, the next kill will uh, usually determine the match, since it'll be a two-on-one at that point. Right, it's time to figure out who's clutch and who's not. That was a nice uh, laser board smash by Dope, and he might kill Tosh here. Ooh, Ford great, came great and help. protects his partner like good teammates do. You just can't leave him to get agitated. Great help save stocks, and that might have saved the match for them right there. Still really anyone's match at this point. Uh, Dope's at the highest percent, while uh, Fast Lake Tree's at the lowest, but they're also close that it's pretty much next hit or next kill. Like Scamp said, the next, next kill is really big because it's hard to do a two-on-one. Especially if it's a character like Marth or Peach that can't really cover both sides of them and it's not as fast as either moves like Fox and Falco. Ooh, and Fast Lake Tree, there's a the kill. And uh, now we're down to this two-on-one. See, there we go. It's too fast. Dope does a little neutral air, and it forces Ford to roll out, and uh, Fast Light Tree hits him with up smash. So Fast Light Tree and uh, Dope, very impressive in a 3-0 